Life in prison plus 30 years. Joaquim El Chapo Guzman will spend the rest of his days behind bars. This sentence is significant and it is well deserved. It means that never again will Guzman pour poison over our borders. The former leader of Mexico's Sinaloa cartel was convicted last February for crimes spanning 25 years, including drug trafficking and money laundering. Known for his bloodthirsty and violent tactics, as well as his prison breaks, Guzman was first arrested in 1993. He escaped eight years later by stowing himself inside a laundry cart. In 2015, imprisoned again, he escaped using a tunnel dug under his cell's shower. He was recaptured six months later and extradited to the U.S. Considered the most powerful drug lord since Pablo Escobar, El Chapo had become a nearly mythical figure in Mexico. This sentence today finally separates the myth of El Chapo from the man, Joaquin Guzman. And for the man, it is the end of the line. Prior to his sentencing, Guzman had claimed he was denied a fair trial. His defense attorney also argued that his client was framed by other drug traffickers used as government witnesses and claimed that the trial was tainted by juror misconduct. I'm not here to tell you that Joaquin Guzman is a saint. All we asked for was fairness. And no matter what you think of Joaquin Guzman, he still deserves a fair trial. Guzman's life sentence was expected as the guilty verdict in February triggered a mandatory sentence of life without parole. The verdict also sentences Guzman to pay $12.6 billion in ill-gotten proceeds, money his cartel made distributing drugs around the United States.